guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm going to be doing a like get ready with me type video I've decided that I'm just going to like talk through it I guess because I don't I don't really like voiceovers and I don't know I feel like it's just better for me to just talk through it and this might end up being super long because obviously if, if I'm talking I'm probably gonna go off um, subject a lot but Right now I'm just getting ready for work. It is 11.07 and I need to be done getting ready at one o'clock, which I have plenty of time. I just like to give myself time, especially if I did have Grace Lanier um, to get her dressed, to get her ready and all that. She is not here, she's at my mom's house. I specifically asked my mom to watch her so that I could film this in peace without interruptions of her running in and out trying to climb up on me grab my makeup all that because she does do that so this isn't really realistic because if it was realistic um she would be in here like m the majority of the time ripping stuff down trying to climb on me and all of that but it's still the same how i do my makeup this is going to be kind of like my everyday look i don't really ever change my makeup i don't do anything different i don't do anything fancy I'm a single mom, you know what I mean? This is basically what I wear to work. That's not the only reason I really ever do my makeup or you know, if I'm just going out or something. Um, but it is basically the same thing that I do. It's not much different from my last one that I filmed, um, to be honest, but I'm still gonna make it because a lot of you guys had, okay. Um, my power definitely just shut off. What the heck? How am I supposed to do a get ready with me in the dark? You guys, like, my power literally just shut off. You're joking. You're actually joking right now. This is okay, ridiculous. so I decided to relocate because I'm not going to let this ruin my video. Um, I have my natural lighting. I'm sitting in front of my sliding window right now. So we're just going to work with what we have. Don't you guys know that I said that every time I try and do a freaking sit down video, it never works. Like I was not meant to do sit down videos. I swear because every time I try to film them, they don't work. I have a mirror right here. So I'm going to be looking this way, not at the camera. I'm working with what I have. You guys should see my setup right now. It's actually kind of funny. But yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to get on to how I get ready. So I always, and honestly the sun, <laughs> This video is gonna be such a fail. The sun is coming in and out because it's like overcast. So like, let's keep going over the sun and... <sighs> Anyways, we gotta stay positive here. I start with putting my hair up. So I usually just put it in um, a high ponytail so that I can get all of my hair out of my face, specifically for when I do um, my foundation. I'm trying to make the lighting good here, but this video is honestly going to suck because for some reason my luck is just complete shit. like it's just a complete complete shit. i take my nose ring out because i don't know i just i always do it and i'm gonna rub off any excess makeup um that i might have had my phone is also on 15 percent, so that's cool you know that's an ideal situation right now I don't know if you guys um, watched my last vlog, but in my last vlog, we were out of power for the entire day. <laughs> and I'm out of power again. Not sure what exactly what's going on. I do take some of the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. If you guys watch my videos religiously, then you would know that I love this stuff. I just take a cotton pad and I'm just gonna like wet it and then I'm just gonna cleanse my face to get any like excess dirt that might be on it from sleeping or oils or anything like that. A lot of you guys were asking for like a skincare routine. I'm not sure why, cause I mean like look at my skin, but I really don't have one. This is what I do every morning um, and every night. I take my makeup off with this stuff too. And then I moisturize. This is the only thing I've found that besides right now, I'm kind of having like a breakout and I think it's because my hormones are just changing a lot because of periods regulating and all that stuff. Um, due to me quitting breastfeeding, um, I finally have a period again. So I think my hormones are just kind of confused as to what's going on. So my face is reacting to it, but for the longest time, um, the micellar water and moisturizing was something that 
did good to my skin and it was something that worked for my skin whenever i would use face washes it would just break my skin out so really it's just to find what works for your skin everyone has different skin types not everyone's skin is going to be the same so i can't really help you out on that one and i don't really think you want my help so then i just use the cetaphil moisturizing lotion um i love this moisturizer i've used or i've tried a lot of different moisturizers in my short life and this has been the best one so far you cannot like feel it on your face that better be the electric company it is the electric company in a truck with beeping lights you better be turning my power on boy this is the only like moisturizer what are you it's literally focusing on my pimple right now like can we not this is the only moisturizer that doesn't feel greasy or heavy or anything it's like the perfect everyday lightweight moisture for your face so then to start my makeup i'm just gonna take the <laughs> The electric people are just like driving back and forth like what are you doing I'm just taking uh, the NYX um, photo loving primer I have not used a lot of primers in my life but I do think they make a difference so I am working an eight-hour shift today so I definitely am gonna be wearing primer so my makeup doesn't melt off my face throughout my shift I will say that I don't always use primer but when I do use primer, it definitely does help my makeup um, stay on and not just like slide off throughout the day. For my foundation, I use the Revlon Color Stay. This is really gross looking. I lost the lid. Um, it's the normal to dry skin type and it's in the shade 150. I think it's like the palest shade you can get. I'm honestly not 100% sure, but I'm almost positive. So I just take like little little dots, I guess, whatever. I do it like super sloppily because, you know... I'm not a beauty guru, never was, never will be. You guys just really wanted to see this. I kind of have a unibrow right now. Like it's like my eyebrow hair grows really quick. Guys, if I didn't pluck my eyebrows, I would be like scary looking, trust me. I have um, naturally really bushy eyebrows and I'll have to find a <laughs> This is so sad that my mom let me go with like such a ridiculous unibrow for the longest time, but. I'll have to find a picture of me from when I was um, younger so that you guys can see how like scary my unibrow was. Okay, there goes the power people. Did you turn my, did you turn my power on yet? And I'm taking this um, blender. I don't, this is from Sephora. Yeah, this was gifted to me from one of my coworkers. It's just like the Sephora beauty blender. And I don't really know if, I think I like the real technique techniques um, one better, but I'm just gonna blend it all in. I hope this video doesn't turn out like horrible because most of the time I like film a video and I think it's gonna be like the worst video on planet Earth and then it turns out being not that bad. So I hope that's what this one does, but I don't know. We shall see. And also, like using primer um, also allows the foundation to go on a lot smoother, I've come to learn. Oh, there's a guy, another truck. Hopefully they can turn it back on so that I can straighten my hair. <laughs> and so all my food doesn't go bad in my fridge. I don't know like what's up with my city's power lately, but they need to get it together. I'm just wiping this crusty foundation off of my lips. So then I'm gonna take my powder that I use, which is the Rimmel Stay Matte and transparent so this isn't really for coverage but it's more for like setting my powder i'm also using these real techniques these are not real techniques what am i talking about uh sonia kashuk 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 your girl shook i don't know um how you say that but i'm using her brushes i don't know i don't even know if she's a girl but i got these for christmas and they work pretty nice just using this one i think it's like a flat i don't know i'm not a beauty guru so i really don't know it just puts on my powder <gasps> my power's on did you guys hear that that was my microwave okay well that was cool now i can straighten my hair obviously i just moved my whole entire like bathroom to my living room so i'm not going back i'm gonna finish it out here so then after you have a bunch of powder on your legs um, I don't do this like all the time. I don't contour or whatever all the time, but 
It is so broke. Why is my day going like this? Oh my gosh. Okay, screw it. I'm not contouring. Never mind. Not like I just vacuumed yesterday or anything. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that never happened. Um, I'm gonna do blush. I recently got this. It's the, I don't really ever have like a specific blush I stick to. I just try a bunch of different ones and I honestly think they're all the same. So I'm just using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush. Um, yeah, I don't really know. It just like, it just looks like this. So it's like kind of ombre. -ed. So with blushes, I like to do like a lighter, like peachier kind of color. So you just put that on my cheeks. Add in some color to this pale face. Oh, there goes the sun. Here comes the sun in my face. So then I got my blush on, nothing too special. I'm gonna brush out my eyebrows because they're so messed up right now. Um, hold on. And then I do my highlight, which I take the e.l.f. highlight and moonlight pearls. Um, I think I mentioned this in my last vlog, but a tip to this, if you buy this, I think it's only $3, scrape the top layer off with like a butter knife, um, and it'll be really super pigmented, like you guys can see. Sorry if the camera angle kind of changed. My neighbor was coming outside, and like her car's parked right in front of my window, and it, I, it just, you guys, you guys already know. Anyways, um... So I just take a like fan brush, I don't even know if that's what this is called, and I just apply my highlight. Highlight on fleek, girl. Oh my gosh, the highlight looks so good in this light though. Like it looks really good. Dang, girl. I feel like it doesn't like normally look this good. I do my forehead, just like the middle of my forehead kind of. My foot is going numb. Hold on one second, and then I do like this little thing right here. I love highlighting. I feel like highlighting makes your makeup, it makes you look so much more fresh. Fresh and full of life and glowy. I don't know, I like it. I believe that is all I do for my face. Oop, 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 oop. Comment on this video if you say oop when you make a mistake. And also comment like where you're from um, if you do say oop because I like heard this thing about people from like Ohio, that's like an Ohio thing to say oop. So <laughs> I don't know. I was like having a debate with my parents about this and yeah, so anyways. I'm, I zoomed up a little bit so you guys can see, wow, look at these pimples. So you guys can see my pimples in HD. I zoomed so you guys can see like what I'm doing with my eyes. I'm just curling my eyelashes right now, if that is not already obvious. Once again, I said I really like to highlight. I love highlighting, so I do like um, put a little bit of highlight in my inner corners. So I just put it like just I don't know like right there in that inner inner corner of your eyeball there goes the Sun so if it's getting super bright which it is for some odd reason I'm like excited to go to work and I think it's so that I can escape from my reality because I stay I'm the type of person I'm about to get personal but I'm the type of person that I have to stay constantly busy or like I will start thinking and overthinking and all of that. So at work, I, I keep myself busy obviously. So I don't really have a problem with like that happening at work. Um, but anyways, I'm just taking an e.l.f. This is like the charcoal eyeliner I think in black and I'm gonna like, I don't even know what this is called, but I think it's called, I think it's called your tight line. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm lining it. And it makes my eyes water every single time. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna zoom this bad boy out just a little bit because it's a little too close for comfort. So my next step would be my mascara. And you guys ask me all the time what mascara I use. Um, I recently started using this one. I use two different ones. I literally switch like 
for six months I'll use one and for six months I'll use the other I was using the Maybelline rocket volume mascara in black that was like my go-to mascara for the past like year but I also have used this one before it's the L'Oreal telescopic mascara and this one does a really good job I've explained the difference in them before this one is more for like lengthening and the uh, Maybelline one is more for like thickening of the lashes but they both are really really good mascaras I like this one because it separates my eyelashes like individually really well um, so I don't know like I'll use it and then I'll get sick of it and then I'll go to the other one and then I'll get sick of that one so but these are both really really good mascaras and I highly recommend them Okay, so this is just what they look like. This is one of my eyes, and then that's my bald eye. This is my mascara eye, that's my bald eye. You guys can kind of see what I mean. Like, it actually like separates my eyelashes. I don't know if I'm making sense when I say that. Here's my other side, they kind of turned out, um, Ugh, they kind of turn out a little bit clumpy. This is a good thing to use to separate your eyelashes if they ever clump up. Sometimes my eyelashes do that and it's like super, super annoying and irritates the crap out of me. Honestly, I think I'm gonna wear my hair in a bun today to work. I usually don't wear my hair in a bun because I don't feel like confident with my hair in a bun. Anyways, I'm just taking the same, the same eyeliner. Hey bro. Guy's like what was staring at me walking with his skateboard. Hey bro, what's up? What's up, bro? Like, what are you looking at me for? Wow, my makeup is turning out like really bad today. What's going on here? I'm sure you guessed it. I just do my bottom uh, eyelashes. Okay, so bam, there you go. There's my eye mac, uh, my uh, my eye makeup, and then I'll just. Okay, this is weird. This is really weird trying to do this in the camera, but I'll just brush out my eyebrows. Um, one last time, and I don't do anything to my eyebrows. I've mentioned this before, but my eyebrows are just. All natural I like I said I do pluck my eyebrows but I don't fill them in or anything so this is just my makeup this is what it looks like when I'm done like I said it's just an everyday work you know running errands whatever I would be doing makeup routine I don't really ever do anything different maybe sometimes I'll add like a lip gloss or something but I do put chapstick on, which I do need to put chapstick on. I forgot to mention that, that when I'm done with my makeup, I do always spray this rose water. This is just rose water hydrating face mist. I just spray it all over my face because it feels really nice. And um, I don't really know. I think it like keeps my makeup locked in longer. Don't know, but I still do it. Oh my gosh, I really don't want to do my hair. Just taking my hair out of the bun. Also, moisturizing my lips because your girl cannot live without chapstick. If anyone cares, I'm just using the Burt's Bees um, Beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint it actually doesn't last long so like I actually wouldn't recommend that because it literally like you put it on I'm just like taking makeup off my hair right now but anyways you put it on and it like it's your lips don't even feel moisturized after like 10 minutes I'm not even joking you have to keep reapplying it it's not really a good chapstick I wouldn't recommend it so I've decided that I'm gonna straighten my hair I don't want to because it's just a tedious task but I just use a Chi it's the original Chi straightener I don't know it's the best straightener I've ever used personally I think these are the best straighteners the original Chi's I think they work great as far as hair I don't really do anything I'm just gonna brush it and part it I'm very simple when it comes to my hair and my makeup I don't have much going for those two things. Honestly, I could say the same about my clothes, though. I don't like dress super, super trendy or fashionable. I just, you know, 
I just wear whatever I feel comfortable in. <laughs> so while my straightener is heating up, I'm just gonna talk about the products that I use in my hair. A lot of you guys have asked for like a hair care routine and I don't, I don't do much to my hair to make a separate video on it. So I'm just gonna talk about it now. I've talked about it before, but I've also added a couple different things in there. So the big part of it is the shampoo and conditioner I use. I use the Ren & Pure Coconut Milk Nourishing Shampoo and Nourishing Conditioner. And literally this is the only shampoo and conditioner I found that actually works and feels great for my hair. And I think it's because it has the zero sulfates, parabens, dyes, gluten, glycol, all that stuff. And it's vegan. This is 100% vegan. Um, it's safe for color treated hair, which is nice. My red is kind of fading out of my hair at this point, but you guys ask how I keep up the red in my hair and it is because I use uh, the shampoo and conditioner. This, um, when my hair is red, when I just get my hair freshly done, I will use this once a week. It's the Gem Lights Ruby Red Color Wash. My stylist actually recommended this to me. I think it's like 20-ish dollars. You can find it on Amazon if you do want to maintain your hair. And I also wash my hair when I do get it freshly done. I only will wash it in like cold water because the warm water will strip the color out of your hair super quick. That's regarding the color of my hair. That's kind of how I like uh, keep up with the color of it. Uh, it's hard because it's already like fading out. As you can see, it's been like, I don't know, a month since I got it done and it's pretty faded already. So it is really hard to keep up with the color. But if you do things like use a color safe, um, I'm not a hair stylist, but if you do things like use a color safe shampoo and conditioner and use a color wash and wash with cold and all that, it will last a little teeny bit longer than it would if you didn't. Other than that, that is all I do with my hair. Like I don't do anything else. My hair is naturally really long. Um, I don't have any tips for like getting it to the length that I have because I just have naturally long hair like I'll cut a couple inches off and then like a month later it'll be all grown back so I just have thick long hair it's just in my genetics I guess but my straighteners hat I literally just like divide my hair into sections first of all what time is it it's 12 09 I'm just like taking my jelly old time, aren't I? I just divide my hair into sections and then straighten it. This was going to be um, a sponsored video, but the company just like was not being professional and I was like, okay, you know what? Just forget it. I'm not, I'm not about to do a sponsored video with somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, so. Okay, so I'm done straightening my hair and I'm just putting in this. I don't really know, it's like, hold on, let me turn this song off. It's Moroccan oil, like it's literally from the brand Moroccan oil. So I just take like a little tiny bit of it. You don't need a lot of it at all. And I just get it on my fingertips and on my hands and I'm just running it through my hair. This just kind of like, this just kind of like helps my hair with like the frizz and I guess it just makes it shinier, if you will. That is, that is about it. So yeah, that's it for my get ready with me. This is basically just, I always look like this and this is how, you know, this is the process of how I look. So yeah, I hope you guys learned a little more about like the products I use. I know a lot of you guys wanted to know. I will link some of them down below if I do remember or if I can find links to them. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.